Good morning. It's Ross Maxwell and day four of Corona Eviction 2020. I still think we should have called it Corona Eviction. It makes more sense because we were evicted from the radio station thanks to the coronavirus. We're all working from home. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I'll change it next week. So, uh, just wanted to, before we got started, I know we're all going through our own shit right now. And I just wanted to say I'm pretty proud of the Woodward family and how we're handling this. Woodward Radio Group has been amazing going through all this and trying to uh, make sense of it and how do we do our job when we're not actually on the air. Uh, I could speak for the WAPL and Razor 94.7-1047 air staff. Uh, we all kind of work together, both stations do. Uh, we're the gr- the rock group, and um, we are on a group chat, and we are constantly going through uh, or posting and saying, hey, we found out this got postponed and this got canceled. Uh, we found out that there's a case uh, that they just confirmed in Appleton of COVID-19, and um, whenever that comes up, somebody messages it out, and somebody's got to write a story. Who's going to write the story? Oh, uh, I'll write the story. Uh so and so will do this and that. I mean, we're all kind of working together to to get the information out for you guys. Uh, it's been constant. Uh, my phone goes off constantly throughout the day with notifications of uh, of various things. And there's a lot of internal things going on. Um, tomorrow, I'll talk about uh, something we were doing through my three songs that uh, we're trying to. Uh, make something out of as well but uh, there's a lot of internal things that you don't see or hear and um, it's just been non-stop for us and I'm pretty proud of us working together and getting things done I think we've we've been forced to work together a, a lot more and it's been it's been really good in that regard um you know we're we're a lot closer but uh, social dis- distancing, <laughs> virtually closer, you know, it's great. Um, having said that, we get a lot of updates of postponements and cancellations and things of that nature. Good rule of thumb right now, as of me telling you this, as I'm recording this, here's what to remember. Pretty much March has been canceled. Anything in March is canceled. A lot of things in April have been canceled. Uh, May, a few things have been canceled um, or postponed. Uh, If you have an event coming up that you are supposed to be going to, kind of watch on your own. Uh, We're trying to get as much information as possible. And like I said, I'm getting notifications on my phone constantly about... uh, postponements and cancellations and everybody trying to work together to get that information out to you on WAPL.com and on social media. But uh, you you have to (laughs) kind of keep an eye on things because everybody's got their own things going on and uh, we're kind of covering the things in in our orbit, but I know a lot of uh, events are going on that you might that we might not handle and you're just going to have to keep an eye on things uh, it's a weird, 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 weird time. Uh, I don't think I have to tell you that. But we're doing the best we can, and I'm proud of our staff for uh, trying to keep you up to date. Like I said, stay on WAPL.com. We are constantly updating WAPL.com and our Facebook page, uh, social media, um, at WAPL Rocks on Instagram and Twitter. Uh, go check that out. And... Uh, We'll try to keep you up to date as best we can. Having said that, uh, basically that's how we're doing things right now. Our we, we don't have shows. Rick and Len have been using WAPL.com a lot. They're basically doing their show uh, through WAPL.com and on their Facebook pages uh, <laughs> and posting a lot of stuff, a lot of bits. I mean, Rick's mind is always going. He's always working on something. He needs an outlet for that. WAPL.com is a, is a good place to find Rick and Len Bits. Uh, they've been doing that. Um, we've all been trying to post there, trying to keep you entertained and not just the doom and gloom and the bad stuff. Um, but we don't have shows right now. That's the way we're doing it. This is my show. 
as of right now, this is all I have. This is my show. And I don't know how long this is going to continue. So I have to have a bit of a plan if we're going to keep doing this. So I'm thinking that it's Thursday. Uh, every Thursday, trying to try to keep things consistent, try to make it a throwback Thursday. Uh, normally on Thursdays on the air, I would do WAPL backtracks. And that's my regular feature at 2 in the afternoon. But I can't do that. So what do I do? Well, I, I know what's... Uh, WAPL Backtracks, by the way, is uh, looking back at WAPL history. And I have a list of the songs that we started playing uh, each year on WAPL that, that got their start. And I just play a, a few of them on the air. And uh, we have some lost classics, stuff we don't play anymore uh, that we play a few clips of here and there. So I, I can't play the songs, but I do have a list of the songs that we started playing, and I can do that. So I put together the list, and these are the songs that we started playing uh, on WAPL this week, various years. I don't have the years listed, but these are the songs that we uh, started playing. good chunk of songs did you see some weird stuff in there <laughs> there's a few weird songs in there uh let's see what else so one of the other features i was thinking about trying to fit in with backtracks and, and the throwback thing aspect of things and i'm wearing a football jersey jersey today for a reason uh the guys on the score um our sports station it's uh 95 3 99.1 I hope I didn't screw that up um, logo the logo is here somewhere uh, they on the morning show BJ and the Bear featuring uh, BJ DeGroat and former Badger Brian Butch uh, they will go on and during breaks and stuff they'll post videos to social media and open unopened packs of cards like sports cards. I mean, not stuff from that came out this year. Like, they're finding all these unopened packs of cards from, like, 20 years ago, and they're opening them, you know, because there's some of those cards pretty expensive, and if you could pull out a, a good card or a rookie card, I mean, there's a little money there. And it's kind of fun just to see what's in a pack, and they've been doing that on the air. And I used to collect sports cards. I have a ton of them yet. And I um I know there's a bunch around here in the house. They're packed away in other places. I, I, actually, I did find some cards. I was um, hold on. So I had to clean out the studio when they told us we had to work from home. And the studio was all full of whatever. Uh, I had a ton of stuff in here. I had to gut. I still have to clean a lot out of here. But uh, one of the things was uh, just digging through things. I'm finding all these things in my office here that I forgot I had. And I found an unopened box of 1990 NFL football. I mean, all the packs are in here. So I'm sitting here going, well, I could do this too. And... I'm apprehensive about opening any of these because this is a full box, and I don't even know where I got this box. I must have got it years ago and just never did anything with it. And I know I have unopened boxes of hockey cards somewhere in a in a crate that I stored away, squirreled away because I thought they would be worth something, you know, if I didn't open them. But um, I might open the football. I did find an, an unopened pack of uh, 1991 Fleer football. And then I was going to wait and open it on the air. And then I realized somebody had opened it already. 
um, the wrapper was open, but I don't know when this got open and I don't know what's in here. So I thought we could do an open pack Thursday and uh, see what's in this pack of cards. So this is 1991 Fleer football. Uh, let's see what's in the uh, pack of cards. You got Drew Hill of the Oilers. Ooh, the Oilers. Remember them? Um, I'm reading this through the camera. Richmond Webb of the Dolphins. James Hasty of the Jets. I remember that name. It's a Charger. This is... I can't read that. Some dude. I can't read it. I'm, I'm using my screen just to, to uh, go through these. Ooh, a lead leaguer. Haywood Jeffries of the Oilers. Very good. Um, Keith Jackson. Not the announcer. Uh, Mark Collins of the Giants. We've got Eddie Brown of the Bengals. Warren Powers of the Broncos. Carl Zander of the Bengals. This is taking a lot longer than they should. Paul somebody of the Browns. There's a team. Uh, see the yellow print. I can't read any of that, but that's a stealer. Uh, ooh, a kicker. Dean... Suchi. And we've got all oh, Vikings. Tell the Packer in there, Rick Fenny. All right. Well, we're not millionaires today, but um, yeah, maybe I'll just do that every Thursday as well. Maybe we'll do backtracks and that. But this is me assuming that this is going to be a permanent thing. I hope to God not. Uh, that's it for today. I'll be back tomorrow. Um, I know I want to talk a little bit about wrestling. Normally on Fridays we do an uh, Old Guy Wrestling Alliance podcast. Uh, Elwood and I do. I might talk a little bit about wrestling. Now that we're stuck here, we can't really do a whole lot there. But I might do that. And uh, I've been getting a lot of people talking about the Vermox that I showed you yesterday. Might have to crack open the Vermox just to get into the weekend. So might do that. Got other other things going on. We'll talk about uh, my three songs and the Badger Club Amber uh, thing that we were doing. That's that'll be tomorrow during this show. Uh, make sure you uh, check this out on YouTube. Uh, it's also on WAPL.com. I've got a playlist going on uh, one of the stories, and uh, just check it out. We'll be updating this every day as long as we can. Uh, Ross Maxwell out. Have a great day. Stay safe and.